I'm back to another album review. We're on episode 11 of Bootlegathon. And we're checking out yet another Nirvana bootleg. Yeah, today's review is on Chris's in Seattle Sub Pop Launch Party. This is a compilation of two different performances that Nirvana performed in uh, December of 88. In previous reviews, I mentioned that the band wasn't called Nirvana until 88. Anyways, this bootleg was released in 2018 on Sutra, which is a record label that's been releasing unofficial bootlegs since 2015. The most recent release is from this year, and it's a Black Sabbath bootleg. Anyways, let's talk about the songs. The first 10 tracks are from when, Nir from when Nirvana formed at the Hollywood Underground Club in Seattle on December 28th, 88. This was during the Sub Pop 200 LP launch party, and Nirvana started their set with uh, the song School. After that is Love Buzz. By now, everyone should know this is a shocking blue cover that Nirvana recorded for Bleach. The next track is Floyd the Barber. The song was later recorded for Bleach. And next up is Mr. Mustache. This is another song that was recorded for Bleach. Up next is Paper Cuts, which seems to be a lesser known song. We followed up with Mexican Seafood. This will later be featured on Incesticide. That's followed by Spank Through. This was previously featured on Illiteracy Will Prevail by Fecal Matter. What comes next is Sifting. It appears that this is another lesser known song. What comes after that is Hairspray Queen, which was later recorded for Incesticide. The end of this performance is Blue, and this would be the first song on Bleach. The next 11 songs are from a rehearsal broadcast that was recorded at Reciprocal Studios in Seattle on December 24th and 29th, 88. The set started with the song Beeswax. What's next is uh, Mexican Seafood, which would later be featured on Incesticide. Now, what's after that is Pen Cap Chew. The demo was recorded the same year and was featured on the With the Lights Out box set. The following track is Mr. Mustache, which, which is in the set list for the previous concert. The track that comes next is Blandest. A demo was recorded in 88 and is included on With the Lights Out. The track that comes after that is Downer, which was later included on the deluxe version of Bleach. The track that follows is Floyd the Barber, and this was in the previous set list. We followed up with Paper Cuts, and this was also in the previous set list. That's followed up by Spank Through, which is yet another song from the previous set list. The second to last track is Sifting. This is yet another song from the previous set list. The finale of this album is Aero Zeppelin, which was later recorded for Incesticide. There is no information available regarding how this album performed commercially. It seems to be a pretty popular bootleg since 42 people on Discogs claim to have it in their collections. It also has a 4.33 out of 5 on Discogs, even though only 3 people have given it ratings as of the making of this video. Now for my thoughts. Personally, I think this is a good album. It's unfortunate that this album was never officially released, but it's convenient that this compilation has both performances on one disc. There's a slim chance that this album will get an official release since the 35th anniversaries of these concerts will be later this year, as of the making of this video. Overall, I recommend checking out this album. Now is the part where I question you. Have you listened to a Christmas in Seattle sub-pop lunch party? If so, what do you think about it? What's your favorite song from it? 
Did you attend either of the performances featured on this album? Do you think this album should get an official release? Well, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another review.